What if you had an idea? An idea that changed the world. Discover the Harley Davidson Museum. We're back motorcycling our way through the state as we discover Wisconsin. Our next destination takes us way up north, all the way to the shores of Lake Superior. When a cyclist comes to the Ashland area, they will see beautiful scenic highways and byways, all of the back roads that they can explore, many attractions that we have to offer, and the beautifully paved roads. What is it about biking that you and your wife can't get enough of? I think it's the people we get to see in all the different places we get to go. You don't see those places from a car as well as you do from a motorcycle. So how do you take riding along the backdrop of Lake Superior up a notch? How about with an island? To get to Madeline Island, you take the ferry boat over there and you enjoy a beautiful, beautiful ride. You can see several of the 22 Apostle Islands on the ferry trip to the city of La Pointe. We just got off the ferry and we're ready to explore Madeline Island by motorcycle. Although it's only 14 miles long and three miles wide, you can really surround yourself with nature. More than a third of this island is covered with parks and wilderness preserves, including Big Bay State Park. Sights at the park were just beautiful. We saw three deer that crossed the roadways while we were here. This is the first time I've ridden on the island on a motorcycle, and it was actually nice. We love this feeling of freedom! Woo! Another island discovery arose from the ashes of an untimely fire when the owner decided to roll with the punches and let the lake air blow right through the place. You can take your pick from tons of shopping, lodging, and dining on the island. And back on the mainland, Lake Superior's hometown, Ashland. Our downtown is such a beautiful area. The buildings are historic brownstone buildings. You'll see murals on the sides of the buildings. The murals depict the history of our city, and they are in an eight-block business district where the shopping and dining is. All unique, all here in Ashland. Smell that? It's the lake breeze mixing with the aromas of the Saturday morning downtown farmer's market. Then why not follow the lake air all the way to Ashland's waterfront trail? Riders can even fill up a water bottle at the artesian well before heading out on the road. It's fun to just get out on the road, even if you don't have a destination, it's the journey, right? Absolutely. We ride a lot in Ashland County and the surrounding areas rather than taking real long trips. And yeah, we don't always have a place to go. And uh, when you do that, you also discover unique places you might not have found before. We hit the open road and made our way to County Highways GG and 236, both of which head straight through the Shawamigan National Forest. The uh, bikers that come in tell us all the time about 236. It's an absolutely beautiful, scenic road. They love it. What state park can you find hidden along your journey to Southern Ashland County and Highway GG? We are in a remote location. Um, you have to want to come here to get here. And one of the neat things is here, situated in the Pinocchio Hills of the Mellon area, the ride here is quite gorgeous. You may have guessed it by now, it's Copper Falls State Park, named after the 29-foot waterfall that marks the first drop of the Bad River as it flows through two miles of steep walled canyons. Visitors can hike seven miles of trails, which feature three waterfalls, bridges, and scenic overlooks. And if you're feeling adventurous or need more time to enjoy the sights, you can even camp overnight. Reserving your site is easy. Visit discoverwisconsin.com and choose Ashland County as your destination. Coming up next. I love coming in here. I mean, it's just, it's so much history. Let's take a peek behind the scenes and get the history behind this iconic sound. 